Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> so uh, I was just, uh, you know, I, I think I, sent, I posted up what the uh, Soviets did in the 26th of December turn, in this case, Blue G, uh, GB2 uh, scenario. And uh, the, you know, the, the net result was that uh, they broke a, an extender and, you know, caused some problems uh, around here. The good news is I had been consolidating a lot of trucks and pushing uh, <clears throat> a lot of supply into this area because I knew that I would need to press the attack pretty aggressively you know, on this little channel here uh, if we were to be successful in terms of trying to cut uh, supply for Moscow, you know, keeping in mind that I'm coming from that angle as well. Now, when you stop and look at the huge number of units here it's pretty daunting and overwhelming and I really don't think the Germans can can be successful but um, you know so be it we'll, 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 we'll keep going now the good news is that because I was using my rail extender uh, rail extender rail conversion I, I converted this little section at the beginning of the turn and then I converted four more hexes here and if we count uh, with a wagon extender from here, we can reach to here, uh, I think. Anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's exactly the right amount of, uh, uh, so, so I can keep all these guys in trace. Now down here, we have some trace problems because we've got to count back five from our headquarters, one, two, three, four, five. So we're, we're out of trace supply for, for a lot of these units. Unless I move an HQ, which will then definitely put all these forces here. <coughs> that was lucky. <laughs> I need to move the camera. That's not balanced. There we go. All right, and I knocked a few guys off the board. Who do we who do we kill? We got a dude in reserve and some supply. That's always a bad thing. Well, these are on the edge of the map here. Sorry about that. You know what? I think they may not have actually been in play. All right, so uh, so we, we've got a little problem here. I don't think that's a big problem. That's a little problem. We can probably pop a couple of tea over here to feed these guys or fly in some supply from Kursk. So I think I can manage the, the problem here. And all of these infantry units which have moved for the turn uh, the, the rest of this stuff really hasn't moved other than the rail units. Um, I think I can knock off a bunch of these units and or at least put them out of being a problem for, for us. So that's good. Uh, the rest of the turn, I'm really not sure what's going to happen. I've got to see what I can move here. Very short on supply here because I don't have enough trucks or wagons because I overcommitted uh, down uh, south of Moscow with my, my wagons and trucks. So this is problematic up here. I'm regretting uh, making the commitment on the commandos here, uh, just here. You know, they're both off the map now. And I flew in uh, these paratroopers as well, which was kind of dumb. Now, the interesting thing is, uh, what I have noticed is that uh, in uh, you know, a desperate attempt to get this unit uh, and attack this unit here, Yaroslav or Slavl, has been left exposed. There is nothing here except the airfield. Um, I'm, uh, and there's actually no defensive units. These are all zeros. That would be quite a uh, quite a coup to land a unit here and try and uh, put those guys out and uh, capture that town. That would put a big hole in the uh, supply capabilities of the Soviets. I'm wondering whether I should uh, give the Soviets a break and let them, uh, you know, pop this unit back here or pop a step out of here. Um, that might be a game breaker, so we'll have to think about that. Uh, you know what, there's a lot of other, other stuff going on, but that's kind of the guts of it. Uh, I, I've moved up a lot of supply uh, 
here we've got uh, a stack of units there. Uh, there's some organic units, <coughs> organic trucks, and then some uh, other trucks that will bring, I think I've got five or six SP coming up the road. So I'm not really too concerned about supply. I am concerned about how thin the defense, defenses are here. So I put some artillery in reserve in the background and actually popped a couple of extra um, uh, uh, breakdown regiments here to try and screen any potential push from this direction. But it is very difficult to try and launch an assault from here. And uh, I, I'm not too worried about that happening right now, given the massive forces that are being arrayed against the six or seven partial divisions that are down here. Um, <clears throat> similarly, up here, if I could clean this up, that would free up uh, probably two or three full divisions worth of units that would allow me to maybe push some forces this way or, or cycle some more around back here. We're going to have big supply problems up here this uh, this turn, next turn, unless I can uh, capture some supply or work some magic with some vehicles. Uh, down in the south, we'll, uh, we'll get to that uh, perhaps next video and we'll uh, talk to you guys soon.